Where will all that water go? Hurricane Harvey has released 14 to 15 trillion gallons of water on top of Houston since last Friday. And although the storm has left the city, the catastrophic flooding continues. Despite being flat and prone to flooding, Houston lacks a high-tech drainage system and relies on slow-moving creeks or streams called bayous to empty its floodwaters. The city's 10 bayous typically flow from west to east before going through the Houston Ship Channel into Galveston Bay in the Gulf of Mexico. The Attics and Barker Reservoirs were built in the 1940s to help contain flood water. But the Attics has been pushed past capacity and the Barker may soon overflow as well. Given the speed and volume of the rainfall, surface soils become saturated quickly and are soon too full to take in any more water. This is made more difficult by the less absorbent concrete and asphalt that cover the city. Water cannot evaporate quickly either, given Houston's humid climate. And with slowly receding floods already soaken through items and property, the damage may be long-lasting. No one currently knows how long it will take for the floods to drain completely, with experts estimating it could take anywhere from a few days to possibly even weeks. Floods of biblical proportions have also been seen in other parts of the world. Terrifying El Nino storms cause flooding chaos in Southern California. Three El Nino-fueled storms have slammed into Southern California this week, drowning the arid state in floodwater and mud. And to make matters worse, one San Diego resident's beloved dog is the storm's first victim. The excess downpour has caused chaos on the roads, making them increasingly difficult to navigate, leaving some residents perhaps reconsidering their choice of vehicle. This dire scene in Ventura County has become all too familiar for many Southern California residents this past week, where flash flood warnings remain in effect. And if they leave their homes, it's scenes such as this that await them. The flooding is so bad in some parts that lifeguards were called in to rescue people from cars trapped in the mud and water. California is experiencing something this week that it hasn't experienced in a very, very long time. Rivers and drains overflowing with water. Scenes such as this may become commonplace with more downpours expected over the weekend and on Monday. And worse yet, between two and three and a half inches of rain are expected to fall over the next 16 days. Do you live in Southern Cali? How's the downpour affecting you? Tell us your El Nino story below. Mudslide in California Highway engulfs vehicles in several feet of mud. Hundreds of motorists were stranded on Thursday as Southern California was battered by a severe thunderstorm. Around 5 p.m. on Thursday, State Route 58 along California's Tehachapi Pass was hit with several inches of rain and hail the size of golf balls. Waters quickly rose within about 20 minutes of intense showers. As the road began to flood, drivers described seeing vehicles floating in the water and being pushed into each other before a river of mud, rocks and debris came flowing down. The resulting chaos forced some to abandon their cars, though others stayed with their vehicles until rescuers came. The mud flow was likely caused by a lack of vegetation holding down soil, leading to rocks and sediments falling into water channels and being swept down the mountainside by torrential rains. A total of 192 vehicles were stuck on the highway, including 115 passenger cars, 75 semis, and two tour buses. Highway 58 is still closed as rescuers continue to excavate the mud. A flash flood warning remains in effect in several areas of Los Angeles County, as the National Weather Service says that rain could continue to fall until Saturday. Heavy floods kill 24 in Thailand and Malaysia. Floods in Thailand and Malaysia have killed 24 people, with more rains and flooding expected for affected areas over the next few days. The flooding is caused by a severe northeast monsoon, a weather pattern that occurs when high pressure over Russia and China strengthens moisture-rich northeasterly winds in the South China Sea, bringing heavy rains to Malaysia, Indonesia, and southern Thailand. Heavy rains cause groundwater levels to rise, when groundwater saturates a low-lying area such as a closed basin, stormwater can then cause flooding. Ten people were killed in Malaysia, and nearly 160,000 were evacuated from their homes. Floods there threatened to disrupt the country's palm oil and rubber exports. Fourteen people have died in Thailand so far. The Malaysian government said it would give an extra $142 million to help the flooding victims. That's in addition to the $14 million it had originally allocated. Dozens of scooters swept away as deadly flash flood hits Bogor. A series of videos currently going viral in Indonesia show the power of floodwaters that killed a four-year-old girl in the city of Bogor, south of Jakarta on February 27th. 
This particular clip shows the intensity of flash floods that knocked down a wall and swept away dozens of scooters at a high school in the city. Another harrowing video shows a mother and her young daughter caught in rushing water. The child, four-year-old Dia Mahera Zikra, did not survive. 